In this video, we will be studying about the concept of investment. Now, let's see. You are a tailor and you are the manufacturer of clothes, right? You make the stitched clothes. What you do, you plan to open a business and you buy one machine, sewing machine. So, you, in this case, you have buy, uh, bought a capital good that can be repeatedly used to manufacture the clothes or to stitch the clothes. So, this is your capital good. And this is the capital that you have invested in your business that is one sewing machine. After six months, you thought that your business is growing. So one sewing machine is not enough. What you do, you buy two more sewing machines. Again, you are increasing your capital good. Which means the change in your capital stock. This was a capital and you made some changes in your capital stock. You bought two more same machines. So this time you have done an investment. right so if you're increasing the investment for two more sewing machines being a single tailor you cannot work on three machines simultaneously you require labor so if you require labor labor there is more output means more stitching you can do if more stitching you can do you'll be able to earn more so your income increases this is how your investment helps in your flow so your investment i is equal to change in k that is i is your investment that is your investment that you have done of two machines k is your capital stock this was your capital stock of one sewing machine. Change in K is change in capital stock during the year that after six months you thought that you need to buy two more sewing machines. So your change in capital is two, right? One before there was one machine now there are three machines so change in capital has gone to two so this two is your investment so investment is the process of capital formation or the process of increase in the stock of capital components of investments now let's again take an example that you are a cloth manufacturing firm right you buy cotton yarn and you buy some more machines to make a cloth so your cap components of investment on the basis of this are number one your fixed investment that is the investments that you do in order to increase the stock of fixed assets of a producer during an accounting year if you are buying a machine 
you are making fixed investments just because you are in increasing the fixed assets of a producer and the second we have your inventory investments we know that your inventory includes three, three parts that is your raw material your work in progress and your fixed good so your cotton yarn is a raw material so you are increasing your inventory you are making if you are buying more cotton yarn you are increasing your inventory so in this case this is an inventory investments so fixed investments refers to increase in the stock of fixed assets of the producer during an accounting year so fixed investments can be calculated stock of fixed assets with the producer at the end of the accounting year minus stock of fixed asset with the producer at the beginning of the accounting year so if your stock at the end is more than what you had in your let's say you had one machinery of rupees 1 lakh at the beginning and at the end of this year you have bought two more machines of rupees 3 lakh let's say so your fixed assets at the end of the accounting year are of rupees 4 lakh this plus this and at the beginning it was rupees 1 lakh so your fixed investment is 4 lakh minus 1 lakh which gives you rupees 3 lakh so this is your fixed investment so fixed investment i told you what will happen it will increase the income and the growth pace of a country because if you are doing a fixed investment in order to use these two extra machines you require more labor more labor means more output more output means more income in the economy higher the income higher is the growth rate so this is how your fixed investment helps the second is your inventory investment at a point of time producer have with them the stock of finished goods semi finished goods and raw material i told you that your inventory includes your raw material your work in progress that are your semi finished goods and your finished goods that are ready to sell in the market but are still held with the producer but no further production process is required they are fully done so this includes your inventory so this is known as inventory stock so if there is any increase in the inventory stock in the particular year which means you have done your inventory investment so you can calculate your inventory investment as inventory investment is equal to inventory stock at the end end of the accounting year minus your inventory stock at the beginning
so these are the two ways this is this in this video we have learned about your investment your fixed investment and your inventory investment i hope you liked our video please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us